Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to our last three bouts of the evening. And would you welcome to the cage, Miro Jokovic. his opponent to the cage, Kevin Dell. This is three five-minute rounds for the LFC middleweight professional MMA title. And in the red corner, he weighed in at 185.8 pounds. He represents team titan Miro Jokovic. And his opponent across the cage in the blue corner. He weighed in at 185 pounds even. He represents the Reaper squad in France. Kevin, the octopus, down! Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Andy Nichols. Middleweight title action here at LFC 10, an international matchup for the silverware out of the red corner from Team Titan Hero Jurkovic. Kevin Dell from the Reaper Squad in France. And we have got an incredible stylistic contrast. The French Dean, already rather famous here on the LFC cards. However, Team Titan also a high caliber gym here out of the UK with some of the very top athletes in the country as well as around the world coming out of there. So a lot to write home about here in what should be a thrilling style matchup. Interesting to see Jukovic and his boxing skills. He's excellent wrestler also you see now, goes straight for those dumb hook positions. But the super tough Frenchman in Dell has a 100% submission win right on his record so that'd be interesting when this fight does actually go to the ground chris and you know he's got underrated striking as well so i think that could be very compelling if it does go back to space but already look at that Jokovic thinking about dropping for something but dell is an animal all the way under the chin dell looking to get a hold of the neck Ooh, possible clash of heads i couldn't quite tell exactly what happened there yeah Jukovic does a cut there underneath his left eye. 
Couldn't quite see from this position, but they're back at it again. Jukovic opting for that pressure up against the cage, that clinch work. He'll force down and he'll drop down for a single leg on the high crotch there and suck the leg away and swing around. He'll pivot to his right side to look for that takedown. But Dell, the submission specialist, Chris, you see he's cinching up that figure four on the left arm of Jukovic. These guys are so tough. I mean, you look at the physical differences between Jurkovic and Dell, and they make the weight very differently to keep it understated. But Dell has got a lot of crazy core strength that just comes from hours of submission grappling in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So that's what got me really excited about the wrestling versus the submission specialisms of Dell. But right now, Jurkovic is looking pretty good here. He's doing a great job of fighting for that bicep pummel with his left arm as well as utilizing head pressure to stay underneath Dell's chin. He's got to get underneath that hip as he does. He swings around for the outside trip. Dell frantically on the bottom, working for the guard position quite smartly, overhooks the arm to retain guard. Looking for the armbar, he's known for this, Chris. For the MMA circuit, he's got a super tight armbar from the bottom. Dell looking to play high guard here. He closes it back up, though. That guard's got to open if he's going to spin. And that will be Yurkovich's timing. Look at that, playing a little bit of Williams guard there. And then let's go, goes back to the overhook. The best guards in MMA never stop. Constantly active is the Frenchman. Jurkovic looking to get the hammer fists into the mix. Jurkovic, known for having his top pressure be very dominant, but is best suited when he's inside control or the full mount, Chris. Let's see if he tries to get out of this guard position. When Dell opens his legs like that, Jurkovic needs to posture up, drive a knee and slice that knee through and pass to a more dominant position because we know the French fighter on the bottom is very savvy off his back. He, he'll look to overhook the arm, as you can see there, Chris, and it keeps the posture down of his opponent, not allowing him to posture up and throw heavy punches or indeed start to pass. And we also know that Dell is a survivor. We've seen him lose a couple of rounds and come back to submit, guys, so you cannot sleep on the skills of Kevin Dowell, going for the arm bar, but the limp arm escape for Yurkovich, and look at the regard of Dell. He knew he didn't have it, so he tries to recover, but it's half guard, better for Yurkovich here. Yurkovich with elbows. Yurkovich looking to improve position. This is what Yurkovich is known for, his top position and his ground and pound. Let's see if he looks to try and get the mount here, Chris. He's sitting in the open guard. Looks like the half guard from here, I can't quite see on the monitor. Dell's working the Z guard there, trying to get his knee, his left knee on the inside, use the elevator hook to retain the guard again. But Jukovic pounding away. And Jukovic staying heavy and making the correct adjustments to disallow Dell the recovery he would like. And Andrew Nichols calling for defense here, reminding the Frenchman that he must continually work this is the wrestling, Chris, versus the jiu-jitsu game. The dominant top control. But again, Adele threatened him with the leg lock. Kevin with the grand B-roll, looking to go to a calf slicer here. And Yurkovich does the right thing, like a sprinter off the starting blocks, drags his leg out of there. Yurkovich controlling here with hammer fist. And this is ground and pound 101. You see Yurkovich on top here. He rarely has both his knees on the ground, Chris. What that does is gives all your weight and pressure downwards onto your opponent. These punches are getting through, Chris. Dell is going to have to work out of this position. And that is the end of the fight. In the dying seconds of the round, Andrew Nichols waves off the action. Yeah, that's a good call. Dell is noticeably wobbly, Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, before the official announcement, please, let's hear it for both your professionals in this cage. But the LFC middleweight professional title bout goes around to the waist of the man from the red corner, Miro Jurkovic, by way of ground and pound in the opening round. All right, I'm here with Adam Jurkovic, Adam. You put him away in the dying seconds of the first round. You could see your coaches calling for the ground and pound. It was your wrestling that seemed to be able to control him. Talk us through the finish there. 
Uh, honestly, the game plan was totally different. I wanted to stand up with him. But in the first exchange, he hit, hit me in the eye. When I feel the blood, I just go like a dog. I go to kill. I, don't, anyway, I forget everything. I just want to take him down and beat him up. What I done. Now, it seemed to me that he was trying to take your back and go for the choke. You looked for a couple of arm bars. But it was your control and your defense. You outlasted him, and then you made him pay. Yeah, my background is uh, wrestling. So I like when I'm on the ground, but honestly, I just want to thank, the, say hello, uh, say thank you to my team, Titan, who helped me a lot to, in the last year to get here where I am now. My cornerman, Stu, the he man, Austin, the man who took me first day when I come to England, and honestly, from one wrestler, make an MMA fighter, my brother, Milutin, who is all these years behind me, and I want to thank them, and I want to say one thing on the Serbian, želim da pozdravim moj team Unity i da kažem svi ljudima koji su došli ovdje iz Srbije. Pomoć vam, braći i junaci. Hvala vam. Thank you everyone. Come to support me. Thank you. Congratulations on your big win. You are the champion and you put away a very tough opponent to steal the belt here tonight. One more time, give it up for the champ, Adam Rukovic.